Hello everyone. Welcome you all to my channel Making IT Simple. When we log in into a Gmail account using our credentials, do we get to know at which location our data is stored, or how our data is stored? The answer is no. We just see our data which is well organized in the graphical user interface, and other details are not shown to us. This is what, is data abstraction which we are going to see in this video. If you have not watched my video on what is database and DBMS, you can watch it here, and also there is link in the description. So without wasting any time let's start the video. So let's start with the definition, of data abstraction. Database systems are made up of complex data structures. To ease user interaction with the database, the developers hide internal irrelevant details from the users. The process of hiding this irrelevant data from the users is called data abstraction. Let's simplify the concept with the help of simple example. Let's say we need to drive a car, to drive it we need to accelerate it. There is lot of mechanism behind the accelerator, it can be fuel injection or drive shaft, etc. But while we drive the car we don't need to understand all that. We just need to know how to use the accelerator, all other things are not shown to us as they are irrelevant to us, and to minimize the complexity. Same is done with data, the irrelevant data is not shown to user. User can see only the relevant data, the data which is required to him, which makes it easy for the user to interact with the database. Now let's see the levels of abstraction. There are mainly three levels of data abstraction, as you will see in this following figure. First one is the view level. Second is the logical level. And the third one is the physical level. These are the three levels of abstraction. Let's see each individual level in detail. Let's start with the physical level. It is the lowest level of abstraction that means very less data is kept hidden at this level. This is where the data is actually present or physically present. We see the data in table structure but actually it is stored in files. At physical level we can know about data is stored in which files. Or the size of the files, block of storage or the memory used. It tells the location of the data or at which server or hard disk is the data stored. This all information is present at the physical level. Database administrators work at this level. They decide the location at which the data needs to be stored, how to store the data. These all, designing of database is done on physical level where the database administrator works. Now we will see the middle level that is the logical level. It has more abstraction than the physical level. As we design the ER model in which we describe different entities, which are basically the tables, then we have different attributes of that entity, which become the columns of the table, and we also have relation between different entities. This kind of view is present at the logical view. Data is actually stored in files but how is data represented? It is represented in table format. In this level we see the data in conceptual view that is in table format. We can see the attributes or data present in the table. We can also find the relationship among the data. Programmers work at this level. They design the tables and attributes and also decide the relationship between tables. Now we will take a look at the view level. At this level we have the highest level of abstraction. View level is how the data is shown to the end users. It describes only specific part of database. There are many different views of same database. Let's understand with example. Let's say we have a college website through which we can access the college data stored in college database. If the user is student, user will see his personal details like name, address, mobile number or his fee details, course details, etc. This will be a student's view. If the user is from faculty means a teacher, user will see his details as well as he can see and manage student details like student's attendance, student results. 
This will be the view for the faculty. There will be a user who manages all things like principal, he can view his own details as well as see and manage details about students as well as faculty members or teachers. So his view will be different from student and faculty. So depending on the user the view is changed. According to the user it is decided which data must be shown and which data must be hidden from user. This level is present to ease the user interaction with database. Storage and implementation details are hidden from them. These were the levels of abstraction in database. So in this video we covered what is data abstraction and levels of data abstraction. Hope you all understood the concepts clearly. If you have any doubts or queries related to the topic or you have any suggestions related to the video comment them down below. If you find my video helpful, like the video and share it with your friends who need to clear these concepts. Subscribe my channel and press the bell icon to get updates about my new videos.